I truly believe that the ACCA profession and the ACCA Singapore can do a lot more, but it's not just about serving, it's about encouraging members to step forward, empowering the members to do things for both the ACCA profession at the same time as ACCA members. So if we are able to let members be empowered and lead the subcom, having strong support from ACCA Singapore, full backup from ACCA Singapore, this member, for example, will be able to truly brainstorm what is good for the profession, what is good for ACCA Singapore, and go and do it. I would like to reach out to all the members uh, to hear their interests, uh, their concerns and anything that we can do. I believe that uh, they will naturally want to volunteer if it is something they are passionate about. And we are very hopeful that uh, with this new network panel of committee members, uh, we will really want to work for them. Member of ACCA for more than 20 years now, um, and I've served for uh, one term uh, as ACCA network member. My contribution would be in the area of uh, being uh, chairman of the uh, practitioners forum because of my experience in practice for uh, more than 20 years. So my idea is to have a mentorship uh, program uh, between uh, more senior uh, practitioners and the budding pr pr uh, practitioner who is coming forward to, to serve uh, in, the, in, the, uh, in the community. So basically that, that will actually help to build more uh, interest, get more people on board uh, to become a practitioner and to uh, be practice. Office and, and uh, the members can, can continue improving the communication. So the feedback loop will be very important so that the office will be able to represent the members' concerns and to bring it up to ACCA.